Hey guys, welcome to my little paintbrush. I'm Miss Sarah, and today we get to paint this cute little pug holding a heart. I just think he's adorable. So I hope you have a lot of fun painting him with me. Remember that you can be creative as you are painting. You can add eyelashes, you can change the heart color and the background, change the paint around. You don't have to do exactly what Miss Sarah is doing. That is the beauty of art, right? You get to make it your very own. So let's have fun and enjoy ourselves. You ready to get started? I'm gonna use a couple brushes today. I have a large flat, a small flat, and a detail brush. And you can use whatever works for you, okay? But first things first, we wanna put our brush in water. So I hope you have a cup of water or a jar of water handy. Put your brush in that water, loosen up the bristles. We need to make sure we have water in our bristles when we start mixing our paints because acrylics get super thirsty. So I have all my paints laid out here on my plate, okay? Ready to go. First thing we're gonna do is warm up our paint muscles by painting our pug, okay? We have to mix a couple colors to do this. First thing we need to do is mix some brown and yellow together with white. And this is gonna give us that cute um, golden pug color, okay? It's a golden brown. So I have white and yellow here I'm mixing together and I'm gonna bring some brown into it. A little bit of brown at a time, okay? That way you can decide how dark you want it to be. If you want a lighter pug, you could just change it up. You could do white and brown instead of yellow and brown, but we're giving you yellow in our paint kit, if you have our paint kit right now. <laughs> we're giving you yellow so you can make that decision for yourself. Or you can use that yellow on your background instead and change it up, or your heart. I just love it when you have options, right? Okay, so I like this color. See how I kind of have this warm brown color for my pug? That's what I'm going for. Okay, so once you have a color you love, you can go ahead and start painting in your pug. Here we go. I'm gonna follow it around the head here. You see I'm going side to side, right? Instead of up and down, that shows that our pug's head is round. Okay, now we're gonna go around the eyes very carefully because I want to make sure I can add white to my eyes a little bit easier. If you end up painting into that and it's too tricky for you, that's okay. See how I kind of went into my nose a little bit? That's perfectly normal. Not a big deal, okay? Just do your best. That's all we're doing. We're learning and we're doing our best. And we're gonna add some white later. So it's all right. Let's go all the way around here. Little tiny corner, right? If you need to switch your brush and use a smaller brush, you can. Or you can do what Miss Sarah's doing here and using the toe of her brush. Do you see how I'm using that tippy toe? My brush stands on its tippy toes to do smaller areas. So you can do that. All right, here we go. We're gonna go along the edge to the nose. Paint around our nose. Cause that's gonna be a different color, huh? And the heart too. I'm gonna to go around my heart. There we go. We just kind of fill that in. Nice work. Nice work, guys. Okay, let's do the same on this side. We start here and go around the eyes as best we can without going into it too much, but I'm not gonna worry because we are going to use white, huh? We're just doing our best. Let's go around our pug and here we go. Use the tippy toe of your brush if you can to go around the corner and under the eyes. It's kind of shaped like a rainbow, huh? It's a rainbow shape right there. Around our nose and our cheeks. Let's see if we can keep going around, filling it all in. Getting that pug color all filled in. Oh, he's just so cute. Gotta add all those little details, right? Pretty soon we're just gonna add all those little details. That just 
bring him to life, right? All right. Good work. Now, I'm just making sure all of my paint drips are gone, thinning it out, right? So if you want to go through and just make sure everything's thinned out and painted really well, you don't have any thick drips, okay? Super important. All right, now we got to do the arms. We're going to do that next. I just had to mix a little more paint because I was running out. Okay, so let's go ahead and paint these little arms. Aren't these cute? Little paws coming around. Love it. And paint all the way around here. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do some floating um, here in just a second. Floating is so fun, but let me tell you, it's tricky too. Once you figure out floating, you'll love it, but it takes practice and that's why we teach it. So you can kind of get used to doing it, right? But you can try it and if you don't love it, it's just not your thing, that's okay. I don't want you to worry too much. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Okay. But first we just got to get this basic color on before we start adding all the detail work. Okay, so now you can reach down and paint the bottom of your canvas where your arms come down right here for your little pug. Okay, so if you want to, you can reach down and do that. All right, next we're gonna paint the ears. Okay, now I'm gonna use brown and add a little bit of black to my brown to make my brown a little bit darker. If you wanna just do brown, you can. I like to add little shades here and there. It's just fun, right? Don't you like to mix paint, see what happens? I love it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of black to my brown. It's not a lot, okay? But it's enough to just really darken it up a little bit. Um, here we go. We're gonna come around here. Come right off the canvas, huh? Right off there. Okay, trying to stay in the lines on this part because um, it has black in it. And black can be pretty tricky because once it's on there, it's hard to get our black off, huh? Okay, so you want to try really hard not to mess up the good work you've already done on your pug. There's those ears. All right, let's do these ears here. You can see they're a little bit darker, right? Because I added the black to them. All the way around here and off for canvas. And this is where you can reach around and paint the side of your canvas too, right there. So your canvas is wrapped all the way around. We do talk to our artists, or ooh, I can't talk. We talk to our artists <laughs> about wrapping their canvas. And that's where you go all the way around the side and paint it. And that way it's done on all sides. So if you want to do that now, you can. We're also going to do the nose. You ready to do that nose? That cute little pug nose. Okay. So I'm going to do the bottom part first so I don't lose the top. Okay. So come all the way up to that little nose. Fill it in. You kind of have to do this in steps. So you don't lose your outline unless you're not worried about it, you know? Some artists are just ready to freehand and that's awesome if that's what you're ready for. We're gonna go around our heart the best we can here without painting in our heart, huh? Okay. Ooh, there we go. All the way around. Cute. So let's just brush in that paint, make sure we have a good layer on there. Awesome, look at that, how cute. Okay, now I'm gonna switch brushes to a smaller brush to do around his nose. Okay, so I'm gonna do this part, but I'm gonna switch to this smaller brush because, <clears throat> excuse me, 
um, because I don't want to lose where it's at. I'm just going to come around here and outline it. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to go around the nose, but I'm going to leave some space right here so I see where it's at. Okay, see how I'm leaving just a little bit of a white line there? Just so I know where I'm going to outline that nose. Because it's easy to get lost. And you know what? If you do lose it, no big deal. We can figure that out later. Okay, it's just to show the top of his nose. That's a little tricky, right? You did good. Good work. Okay, so your pug's eyes should be pretty dry right around here now. So I'm going to put my white in around my eyes, okay? So grab a little line brush or detail brush. And let's go over here to our eyes and let's put in the white. Very, very carefully, okay? We don't want to touch our nose or any wet paint and smear it. But this way, you get your white in there before we start to float and stuff. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna come right around there. All the way around. Tricky stuff. Okay. There we go, now our eyes are really clear. All right, you ready to do some floating with me? So there's two options here. You can float with me. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You wanna take a large flat brush, okay? Or you can outline. So if you don't wanna float with me, you can take a, a flat brush and outline it, okay? Or not a flat brush, a detail brush and outline it. Okay, so that's up to you. But this is floating, so I'm going to put some brown on the corner of my brush. See that? Just a little bit of brown there on the corner of my brush. Okay, the brown that you put on the nose. All right, and what we're gonna do is you're going to follow the edge of your heart all the way around. Do you see how that brown shows up and, and shows a little shadow? That's called floating. Okay, so I'm gonna, on this side, you can see it better probably. Follow your little heart there. Now floating takes practice, remember that. Okay, takes practice, that's why we do it. But you see how it shows that shadow? Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm gonna float around here. You can add more or you can add less. That is totally up to you. I'm gonna add it along the edge too, right there. My arm. It just starts to give our pug some dimension and color, right? I love it. Okay, let's do the little fingers or paws, I guess. <laughs> Not really fingers, right? All right. Whoop. See how I'm getting this little squiggly thing? I don't want that to happen. I kind of wipe it off a little bit. Rinse my brush. Because all it did was it just picked up some paint there that I didn't want to use. Okay. There we go. Now this, after you do that, those little, um, that little paw, I want you to come around and we're going to Bring his arm up on the corner there. Okay, give it a little bit of a, a pull right through there. A little line, a little crease in his arm. Okay, awesome. Rinse your brush if you need to. If your brown is starting to get a little crazy, that happens on your brush. And reload it, put some on the very corner of your brush again. Go around your pugs, pause. And then right here, we're gonna come up 
and add that little crease. Just like that. I love it. He's so cute. Just like that. All right, you getting it? Once you get it, you can just keep on rolling. Okay. All right, so now we're just gonna do the same thing a little bit here above the heart. Okay, on each side. That it kind of gives it a little shadow, right? I want a little less. If you want less, just kind of wipe it. There we go. Okay, give it a little bit of a shadow there. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing right under the eyes. Just like that. See that? Okay, so now I'm, now I'm gonna add a little bit of shading here under the eyes. You'll be amazed at how much that adds to your painting. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna do a little bit just above the eye as well. Right up here, it's just gonna come right around Add a light shadow there. All the way around that eye. This is optional, guys. Okay, you don't have to do this. Just something fun to learn if you want to. And then right above the nose here, we're gonna add some there as well. Okay, you know, just adds a little bit there. Perfect. Good work, guys. There's your floating and you did it. All right, let's let our pug dry for just a minute. And let's paint. Let's see. Hmm. I think I want to go ahead and put our eyes in while our pug's drying, okay? So let's see. I have some turquoise for the eyes. It's the same color as my background. You can swap it up. But I'm going to put a little bit of white here in my turquoise to lighten it up. I want a really light turquoise, okay? I'm really going to lighten it up. And then let's paint this little blue in our pug's eye. I just love it so much. It's so bright. Go all the way around here. Fill that in. I'm doing it with a small flat brush, but if you want to use a detail brush to do this, go for it. Okay, there we go. Put there. And let's put some over here as well. My flat brush is about the same width as the eye there, so I can kind of go all the way around using this brush. Yeah, there we go. While we have this color, let's put our background in, okay? So, I'm gonna use a big flat brush now and mix some white and turquoise together. Okay, I want it pretty light. I went pretty light on mine. You can adjust that to whatever you wanna do, but mine's pretty light. And I'm just gonna go around my pug here pretty quick. Just paint it in. I'll show you what I'm going to do here in a second to give it those white streaks. Okay. There we go. All the way up as far as I can go. You can wrap your canvas as well and paint the edges, so all the sides turquoise while you're at it. So to add the white streaks, I'm putting some white on the corner of my brush. Okay, I'm facing the white towards my pug and then going around my pug with the white. And that's what gives me those white, that really light glow around my pug. So put some white on the corner of your brush and face the white towards your pug and go around. And you'll see 
that the light now facing your pug will make your pug glow a little bit. So here we go. I have my white facing my pug. See that? Oop, went in my arm a little bit, huh? Ooh, I think it's the angle I'm at here. I'm gonna try coming down. There we go. All right, all the way around. Take that side too, right under the ear. And along the top of the ear. The top of the head, we wanna add some light to the top of the head there. Just for fun. All right. Okay. Awesome. Good work, guys. Okay, rinse your brush. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Okay. We are now going to add a layer to our heart. Okay, so choose your color. I'm going to do mine a bright pink, but I'm adding white to it to lighten it up a little bit. Okay, always add some white to this kind of pink because this is a very translucent color pink. That means you can see through it really well, but if you add white to it, you'll be so happy you did. So add some white to that bright pink if you're doing it with me or whatever color you choose to do. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go around our heart. All the way around. Kind of tricky, huh, to get those edges. To get that squishy heart. A little bit tricky. Now if you want to, you can add another layer to your heart, okay? That's okay to do. This color kind of uses two layers, really. It needs two layers because it is so translucent, because you can see through it so well. You kind of need two layers sometimes. And that's okay. You can come back to it. We're just going to get the main color on first and fill it in. Now remember, if I am going too fast for you, if you haven't finished your background yet, just pause the video for a second, okay? And do your background. That is okay to do. Just fill it in real quick there. Perfect. And let it dry for a minute. Well, you'll come back to it if you need to. All right, I'm rinsing my brush here really well. Okay, and we're going to do some outlining with black. We got to add all those fun wrinkles in our pug, right? Okay, and I'm going to do it with black and brown, but mostly black. So I'm going to mix some brown here with my black. See that? But it's mostly black, mostly black here. All right, the first one we're gonna do, is we're just gonna take a straight line up the middle. One middle stroke to make it look like we have a wrinkle here. A little wrinkle, so I'm going straight up, just like that, okay? Now on each side, you can add, um, little wrinkles on the top of his head right just like that <laughs> just add some wrinkles just like that okay all right now let's do some around the eyes we're gonna build off our eyes here okay first one we're gonna do is we're gonna go around our white so I want you to start here see if you can go around your eyes when you're outlining, it's super tricky, okay? You've gotta be really nice to yourself when you're outlining. Whoop, because outlining takes practice. It just takes a lot of practice to get, okay? So just do your best, that's why we do it. We practice doing your lines, huh? That's awesome, it's awesome that you're doing it. I'm gonna go around this eye as well. 
all the way around. The trick is to try and get around your eye without picking up your brush. Whew, and that is tricky, super tricky. Okay, now let's go ahead and follow the bottom. This is where he has a little crinkle in his eye, right? And it doesn't come all the way out to the edge, okay? But it comes out a little bit here, just to show that fun wrinkle under his eye. Like he's just all bunched up there. I love it, okay? Got one there. I mean, if you want to bring it all the way out, you can, but I did, and I just kind of stopped there. All right, now once you've done that, we're gonna add a sh another wrinkle under it, but it's just a little bit shorter. Okay, so it's right here. It comes out and it's just not as far. See that? Okay, I'm actually gonna bring it further, but it's not as far as the other one. It comes all the way to the edge of the eye all on each side. Ooh, this is going to be tricky because um, normally I can turn my canvas. That's pretty close. Okay. Add some white in there later. Okay. Now we're going to come right above our eye on each side just to show the little wrinkle here like a little eyelash. I'm just trying to get the black here on my brush. Or not an eyelash, it's almost like an eyelid. Okay, just above the eye like this. Okay, and we're gonna come in and add white there, so don't worry. All right, but it's just a little eyelid. So imagine your little puppy has an eyelid coming up and around, just like that. Looks a little creepy right now, right? <laughs> There's the eyelid. All right, now let's do these squishy eyebrows. Okay. Um, let me see here. You're going to come just above the eyebrow or the eyelid. Okay. Here we go. We're just going to go up and down. And they don't have to be the exact same on each side, okay? They really don't. They don't have to be the same. We have a little one, just a little curl above that. And a little curl above this one. Oh, a little more there. that okay now give that a rest and let's do your nose fill in this nose with black or the same color you're using we're just gonna fill it in here there we go your puppy looks kind of scary right this is a great way to learn about how acrylics build on each other. You just have to be patient. Okay, I'm going to outline the top of the mouth here, or the nose, black right there, so you can see it really well. Right, and then let's put his smile in. So we're going to come down from his nose. Kind of hard for you to see right now, because I'm doing it with black. We're going to give him a smile here, right? Puppy a little smile on each side. There we go. Okay, let's add the black in our eyes. That will really help. <laughs> so you'll be able to see your puppy. All right, so let's go ahead and put the black in our eyes while our nose dries. All the way around. I'm going to try not to fill in my circles that are trace on here for me, but if you do, it's okay. You can just fill them in later. Be very gentle if you're using a detail brush here. 
Okay, we don't normally fill large spaces with a detail brush, so you want to be very gentle and not scrub it like a toothbrush, right? Okay, so we're going to go around it very carefully. Fill in that little space. Here we go. Cute. There we go. Now he's not so terrifying, right? <laughs> now he's starting to look pretty cute with those eyes in there. Okay, so we go around and fill it in. Be really careful around the circle if you can. There we go. Kind of circle it out and fill it in gently, right? You can take a bigger brush and fill it in too, which is normally what I would recommend. There we go. But with such a small space, if you're gentle, it's okay. All right, guys, looking pretty cute here. Have you decided if you're adding eyelashes or not? Can't wait to see what you guys do with your little pug, your little love pug. Oh my goodness, already just darling. You could stop right here and be totally okay, you know? All right, okay, my goodness. We are going to add some pink to our heart if you want to with me. I'm gonna add some pink because um, I want it a little brighter, right? And now that I've got a layer on there, I can add another layer and just get that heart so bright. Here we go, I'm gonna add another layer. All the way around. You can do it pretty fast once you have one layer on. Second layer goes on real quick. See how it just brightens it up a little bit more? And then, just along the top, I put some white on the corner of my brush, just like that. See that? And just along the top of my heart, I'm going to brush a lighter shade. Put some white on the corner. Just brush that light shade around. Oh, yeah. See? Just like adds a little bit of light to our pug, huh? Love that. All right, we're going to add some cute pink cheeks right up here. Now the way to add these cheeks is you want your brush wiped off, okay? Put some paint on it and then wipe it off on your plate so it's not super thick. You don't want your brush to be super thick with paint, okay? And then we're going to come up here to our pug and just brush in some pink cheeks there underneath his smile, the squinchy cheeks. You're just gonna brush in some pink. It doesn't have to be a lot. If you want it super pink with a lot more on there, you can just, oh, see I added too much pink on my brush there. That's what happens. It gets really thick fast. There we go. So you wanna wipe it off so it's not too thick, right? So cute. Okay, got pink cheeks on our pug. Rinsing my brush. Really good. Okay, I got a little bit of black on there. You can go across it in a minute and paint it if you want to cover it. But I'm going to show you guys how to do the highlighting. I want you to grab a detail brush, okay? Your line brush. We're gonna do our highlighting here in just a second, but first, if you want to, you can outline with me. I know a lot of our artists prefer not to, and that's okay. You don't have to, okay? But if you would like to outline with me, mix a little bit of brown with your black, and I'm gonna show you how to just finish up 
our pug here. So I'm going to outline the ears. We're also going to add the creases in our ears, right, to show that they're folded over. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go around the top of our ear. All right, now this is where it creases over. So right here at the top, the ear actually comes down right there, okay? Comes down, and right here, the ear is folded up. See that? So you can come up the side straight up to show that it's folded there. And this can fold over that direction. See that? Okay, I'll show you again over on this ear. Okay, so it's going to come up. I just go ahead and outline it just like that. And then this part where it curves up, it's going to come down. Okay, there's a little crease there in his ear, right? It can come down as far as you want it to. That's up to you. All right, now this part right here, let's see, we're going to outline that ear. Okay, here's how we do our little crease here on the ear. So it just comes right up to this point and straight up, just like that. Okay, so where it curves on the head, you just bring it straight up and now you have a folded ear. And then you add the highlights and it just pops. You'll see it so well. All right, now we're just gonna outline the top of the head. Don't smear your paint. Super tricky. Okay, cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and work my way down. So I'm gonna outline my nose. Not a have to, but if you want to, you can do it with me. We're gonna outline the edge here. Come right around, see how it just kind of makes it pop a little bit. Okay. but it's not something you need to do. Awesome. And then we'll come right down here and fill in those cute cheeks on both sides. All the way to the heart. Whew. Nice. Okay. Now, do you want to outline the heart with me? It's a little tricky. Here we go. You can go for it and try it with me, right? Why not try? Okay, and this is what I was talking about when I said you don't have to float. You can just outline. So if you would rather not go around and float your pug with that brown, you can just outline it like this with me. There we go. Got our little heart there. Here we go. Let's do our arm. Both sides here. Whew. Got it. Here's our little thing, our little paws, I guess, not fingers. Go straight up there with that outline. So if you are not doing the floating with me, you can outline it just like that. So it comes right out here, just like I did with the floating. Okay, but it's gonna come around each of the paws. Just like that. So instead of you taking the time to do all the floating, you can just finish it off that way. All right, super cute, guys. We're gonna add the highlighting and then we are finished. You can add a little bit of the outline right up through the eye there on the blue. I didn't outline the whole thing though, see? Just a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's do our highlighting and then you guys are done. You have a cute little pug. Love it. All right, so we're gonna start over here with our highlighting. Let's just do the edges of our ear. 
this is how you can kind of see a lot better where your ear folds there. And it kind of shows it off a little more, right? Up somewhere there. I'm just using my detail brush, just a line brush, to put the white in there. So everyone can see your cute ears all the way around there. And along the inside of the fold, there we go. Or outside, I guess. Okay. And you can you can highlight anywhere you want. Anywhere you want things to just really stand out. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna highlight the top of his head right here. Or her head. Because it depends, right? Add a little bit of light there. And a little bit of light around the eyebrows, or actually I guess it's all the little wrinkles in our pug, huh? All those little wrinkles. You can add some light there as well. And remember those eyelids you did? Put some light out there. Light right there in between. These little things just bring him to life, right? Okay, put a little bit here and here on the, under his eyes. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so with the nose right here, the reason I'm adding some light here is so you can see the separation. Okay, so if you want to add a little bit of light right through here on his nose, then you'll be able, you, if you can't really see the black of the line, you can outline it with the white. See how it just shows up a little more? And the top of his nose so it doesn't get lost. Okay, and then this cute little smile here. A little bit of light there. And now you can see him so well. Okay, we can add a little light over here. Along the fingers, or not fingers. What are those? Those are the paws. Keep calling them fingers. But this way you can really see those paws, right? Really pop out of ya. And the edge of his arm here. On each side. If you want to brighten up these little cheeks. So cute. Love it. Alright, you guys. All you have left to do is make sure your bright sparkle in those eyes are painted white. So those big circles up there, your eyes should be totally dry now. And you can go up there and paint those big circles that just really <laughs> bring out those eyes. I love them. You can add eyelashes at this point anything you want to finish it up. Fill in the circles. Just grab your white and fill it in. This is where if you accidentally painted the black in your circles, it's okay. All right? <clears throat> All right, guys. Good work. He's adorable. I'm going to sign my name right because as artists we are so proud of ourselves for what we just accomplished and we want to make sure we leave our signature so find a little spot where you can sign your name maybe even put a date on there right there we go miss sarah thank you for painting with me today if you guys liked this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye